Steve. Welcome to my shop. Today I've got a video I'd like to show you. Um, unfortunately, when I made this tool, I didn't, I didn't video it, so uh, I don't have any video of making the tool. But it's kind of a cool um, machine, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's a specialized tool for putting um, oil uh, grooves inside of uh, bearing inserts. And uh, I saw somebody else uh, have one on YouTube, I guess it was, where I saw it. And uh, I thought, man, that's cool. I wonder how hard it would be to make that thing. But uh, as it turned out, it was a pretty good challenge. Um, but I thought I'd bring it along, uh, bring you guys with me, and, and I just pull it off and uh, off the shelf so you could look at it, and I'll show you how it works. Okay? So let's get to it. If you didn't understand my explanation, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a, a bushing that gets pressed into uh, a bigger machine or part. And then a shaft goes through here. And in order to lubricate the shaft, oil is introduced through this little hole right here or on this side right here. Now, this way this uh, bushing was designed, there's a groove that goes all the way around. So it really doesn't matter if the holes don't line up exactly with the hole in the part that this goes in. As long as it lines up anywhere along in the middle, then we're good. And what happens is the oil enters through this hole, goes inside, and there's a couple of grooves in there. You can barely see them. Let me see if I can get some more light on the subject here. There we go. That's better. Now you can see how the there's cross right there. And as oil comes in those holes, it's spread out across these grooves and circles around. So as the shaft turns, it's, it's well lubricated. And so the tool I made uh, puts this groove inside of this bushing. And it doesn't matter too much what size the bushing is. It can be large or small. Um, don't go too much smaller than this because my uh, tool will only go down to a half inch uh, shaft. So if you want to go smaller than that, we'd have to maybe ma fabricate something special for that. But we could probably go in smaller. But I don't think there's a limit on the, on the upside. I mean, we can go a pretty big size, four or five inches if we need to, uh, diameter-wise. So let me show you my tool. And... Uh, I'll take it from here, so keep it uh, covered up to keep the, the rust away and also um, just to keep it clean. So the way this uh, fits on the lathe, it, it, it amounts onto my uh, Alluris tool post holder. And let me take that out of the way. And... These grooves right here I machined on this big block down here. Let me just go ahead. All right. So, oh, this thing weighs a good 25, 30. I don't know. I'll have to weigh it and see just how heavy it actually weighs. And then this locks in position. So, how does it work? Well, um... Let me bring you. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the business end of the tool right here. It's got a cutter that, uh, and as as this as this wheel turns, this cutter moves in and out, just like that. And that's basically it, right there. All right. So let me uh, let me stick. I'll just stick this one that was already machined, but we'll just use it as a 
pattern here, so let me uh, bring it in on the three jaw here. So, what we, uh, all we have to do is to bring this in. Like so. Okay. And then this arm. I'm supposed to go out here and catch something. <laughs> Actually, hold on a minute here. Now I've got you relocated. All we have to do is loosen this clamp right here. And then this will move out to the end. say I want it to be so that tightens up on this gear and then this dog rests against the, the chuck so uh, And you see the there the tool came back out now what you have to do is determine what that travel is and set up your uh, cutter travel right here so there's a groove and this as I if I loosen this uh, bolt here it'll let this come loose and then this will adjust and I can move it all the way out to here or I can bring it all the way into where it's um, basically zero where there's zero travel they just sit there and spin and not move in and out but as you can see let me back this up again here get out a little turn the, turn the crank here let's see if you can see me yeah okay. so as I turn this crank You can see that this goes in and out. And I measured, uh, I just put a dial indicator on the end of the shaft, determine what my travel I want to have, which in this case, the travel for this particular bushing is 800 thousandths. So uh, all I did was adjust this until this traveled 800 thousandths in one half resolution. So from here to here is 800 thousand. Now what happens then is the uh, let's take that. Let's back out. Maybe I show it to you here. As this thing turns. It goes from one side, if you follow me there, let's see if I got a pencil pointer. Let's see. Well, we'll start here in the center. And as this travels out, it makes a U-turn right here and starts going back down and back in and crosses over the hole and then continues on to the other side of the bushing and then it makes a u-turn and, and repeats itself so that's the travel that the bushing makes um, while the uh, the cutter is cutting so that's basically all there is to it and then once once we start the process of cutting it 
all we have to do is simply move the cross feed out until it touches and then how many ever thousands we want this to be deep the groove we would just pull the cross feed out that set amount and within just a very short time it's completed very nothing to it so anyway uh <laughs> i'll go saying that way again um and that's kind of the the tool in a nutshell um there's not a whole lot of moving parts if i took it apart i could show you a few things about it they're kind of special i guess let me see if i can take it apart real quick here show you how it's put together all right where's the So I'm going to hold this. Come on. Here we go. Okay, it comes loose. And let's see. So that'll slide back just so far. And then I have to take this loose down here. And that, that slides right off. So. What we made in here is a little, uh, just like in the bed of the mill, uh, a T-slot. So this piece goes on there, and then if we pull this back, then this piece will slide right out of here. And this is our... Cutting arbor is held in with a set screw at the end there. Okay. And then on top, let's see, I'm going to take this off here. And this just slides off. That's just the crank handle. I've got two positions depending on which, um, uh, which chuck I've got in the lathe. And then if we go down to the next level here all right found a wrench finally and uh, we'll just take these three bolts out here comes off and it fits on there like so. Set that aside. And then this just lifts right off here. Okay. And then I made a bushing here. The oil to ride. And it just fits on there, and this just fits on here. And basically that's it, huh? It's just that simple. Really nothing to it. Mm -hmm. No stress, no fuss. All right. We'll see what else we can come up with for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and I would love to hear some comments if you like it, if you'd like to see more. If I got any other cool projects I can sh share with you. Sorry I didn't get to show you how I made it, uh, but it wasn't. Most of the machine work was all on this on this piece here, and the trick was just getting this perpendicular with this and this in line with this and blah 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 so again thanks for watching S subscribe and like 
as they all say. Okay, see you. See you on the next one. Bye bye.